Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am on my trip to Sweden. So right now I'm in the JFK airport with my friend Harry and we are just waiting to board. We have about an hour to go. We've walked around a little bit, we've gotten some snacks and probably gonna go do another little lap here in a little bit while we wait, but we'll be on our way for our labor in Helsinki very shortly. And I'll see you then. On Tuesday, May 10th, I took a flight from the JFK airport in New York City to Stockholm, Sweden with a connection in Helsinki, Finland via Finnair. I will mention we had some issues with flight cancellation and changes 48 hours prior to our trip and some not very good customer service at that point, but for the purpose of this video, I will solely be reviewing the flight and plane itself. Let's check out the in-flight entertainment. As you can see, there are plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from, although they may not be the newest movies. Despite that, I still found plenty to watch that I hadn't gotten around to seeing before, including the Downton Abbey movie and Hobbs and Shaw. You can also view the different flight info and cameras as well as view all the snacks and beverages available aboard the flight. I've never actually seen this on in-flight entertainment before so I thought that was a pretty cool feature. Unfortunately, you can only receive an alcoholic drink complimentary if it is with dinner, otherwise you need to purchase it. Many other airlines offer this complimentary throughout the entire flight when flying on an international long haul flight though, so that is something to take into consideration when booking your flight. They do come around first and offer beverage service, immediately followed by your meal. The food was adequate. I've had better, but I've also had worse. In economy, they offer wooden cutlery, which is a little sturdier than plastic. I also found the salad to be very fresh, which I really enjoyed. The in-flight info is fun to check out throughout the flight and see where you are. It is all touch screen as well, and you can zoom in and out with your fingers. Another feature I liked was how there is a schedule for you to see when dinner would be served as well as when the cabin lights would be dimmed. Breakfast was mediocre. I had the foresight to grab some mustard packets from the airport before the flight, which I ended up needing because the sandwich was dry. When I booked, the price of the flight was $662. I think there was value in what I received for that price. <laughs> 